Hi guys, good morning. I am here at the uh, Fo Guang Shan Guang Ming Institute. <laughs> that, that, that's a mouthful. Anyway, I'm here at the, the University of Guang, sorry, the Guang Ming Institute, Fo Guang Shan University here in Malate. Um, I believe this is somewhere in Manila. Uh, but it's it's four o'clock in the morning and we just woke up um, to uh, set up our stuff as we get ready to go to Taiwan so I'm going to be um, recording the rest of our trip um, unfortunately because of the uh, the weather it's summer and it's very very hot but anyway we're very very excited um, to see what's gonna happen when we go to Taiwan and anyway, I'll get back to you guys a little later when we uh, Get to the airport as of right now we're just preparing our stuff um, our group is down there there's around 12 of us um, in their entire team and um, this is the beautiful university just wanted to show you how beautiful this place is um, that's a restaurant over there and then um, the uh, mess hall and then they've got the different administrative offices here back so anyway um, I'm ready for smiling and it's four o'clock in the morning it's that hot here in Manila right now um, and uh, no problem also because I'm inside the building but anyway I'll see you guys a little bit later and I'll uh, just get a little bit of, um, of a quick video of who the people I'm gonna be spending with for the next five to six days and I mean there they are they're all getting ready I'll introduce you guys to them later. Ciao. We just did a um, prayer to, uh, to the DC, uh, and we are um, we're all set now. The entire team um, from Guangming Institute will be heading now to the airport. We'll be meeting some of the, uh, the faculty and uh, administrators from um, the Navoda um, Elementary School, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, from there, we'll also be meeting another, um, he's from the Mormons, um, Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints group, Interfaith um, Coordinator in Taiwan. So we'll be meeting with these people when we get there. I'll give you a quick report as soon as we come back. Okay, so we just arrived at the Pinoy Aikin International Airport and uh, it's around 5.15 in the morning and we're still waiting for um, the people we're going to be with. But we will be uh, hoping to make it on time. Our flight's at 7.15 in the morning and uh, we're running a little bit late. We'll hope we can make it in time uh, for the check-in. Anyway, we're almost done. We're just waiting for a few more people and then we'll go to the check-in area. So we are now falling in line at the uh, Philippine Airlines um, check-in counter and it's 5.20. We had to change lanes um, because it's too long. So they got us a direct line uh, for, for the Taiwan trip. I got a big trolley out there plus the camera so it's really difficult. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um, so we are boarding the aircraft <laughs> going to Thailand. Sorry, Taiwan. <laughs> Thailand. Where did, where did Thailand come from? <laughs> We're on our way to Taiwan. Aircraft Airbus 321, Series 200, please watch. Cabin crew nearest you. Okay, so we just arrived here in Taiwan with the team. In Taiwan. Filipino. Oh, okay, the hotel. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, welcome. Hi. Welcome to the Interview Street. There we are. It was a long trip. We woke up very early in the morning, 2 o'clock, 2.30 actually, but we're excited. Anyway, there's the rest. They've got so many signs just saying welcome on their wall. 
um, with different different languages. It's basically 10:48 in the morning, and they've got really wonderful artwork, of course, here in the uh, the walls of the airport. As you can see, Thailand has a very beautiful toilet. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful toilet. So we're just basically waiting for the rest of the team before we proceed on to our first destination. I'll try to review the itinerary, itinerary for today and see where we're headed at. But I guess we're supposed to go to the Viraha. What's the name of the place? Viraha? Yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah, just like all of Thailand is close to Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> no! Guys, we're in Thailand. Vihara. No, we are in Taiwan. Vihara. 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 <laughs> Sounds like guys. They actually look, look, that lady actually looks like she's an anime character. That is so amazing. Just look at her. She's so... They don't look real. She looks like a robot. The girls, she looks oh, yeah. like so anime. Oh, yeah. They're asking for chance passengers to Osaka. It's funny because it's been quite some time when I when I traveled abroad again. So immigration always scares me. Coming here this morning, the uh, the the guy, the lady from the immigration is asking for a travel document. She was asking like. Um, so sir, you're an educator. I need you to provide me with a travel authority. I was like, what the hell is a travel authority? He's like, you're with those stupid people, right? And I said, yeah. So where is your travel authority? I said, I don't have a travel authority. I was kind of scared. I thought I won't be able to make it through the immigration. And then the lady asked me, yeah, but it says in your, in your um, immigration pass that you're an educator. And I was, yeah, I'm, a, I'm an educator. And she was like, are you with the public school? So no, I'm with the private school. And that's when I realized, oh, okay, yeah, when you're with that bit, that's like a travel document that they, or a travel order, um, if you're from the government. So yeah, that kind of scared me for a bit there. They held me for, I was, I kept on looking at my cell phone and I couldn't understand what, what kind of document they were asking. So I, I went and reviewed all the documents um, for the travel that was provided to me. Um, by the coordinator. I had no idea what it was. But anyway, in the end, we ended up with that. So we just um, passed the immigration and we passed the immigration. There they are. So we're headed now to uh, to claim our baggage at um, carousel number six. I was scared, <laughs> to be honest. Okay guys, so we are at the Taipei Vihar in Taiwan. And this is one of the major temples here in Taipei. As you can see, um, this is uh, where a lot of the major um, worship, a lot of the activities, um, which includes print and also television um, for the Buddhist uh, for Guangsha and Guangmen community. So, as you can see, um, this entire place is is a depiction of the sutras of the Bodhisattva, third to uh, Avalok Avalokiteshvara, um, and I'm not quite sure what the other one. But basically, we've got um, two of the uh, stories of the sutras of the different Buddhas. Um, they've got five major Buddhas in this area, and um, one of the really amazing parts is that they uh, do a lot of the worship here. Um, it's, it's just astounding to see um, so many of the DTs there, as you can see Buddhas over there. So we'll see you again later. And thank you very much um, for all of the beautiful gifts. Okay guys, so we are at BLTV um, here at um, Taipei Vihar. Uh, this is the uh, the studio that they're using for for their dharma, for creating inspiring stories for uh, their programs locally for the congregation. Also, of course, also to promote history, culture, the heritage of Taiwan, and of course the Buddhist religion. So, um, as you can see, it's a, it's a very quaint studio, but it looks very equipped. Look at that. Look at that, yep. The place is pretty legit. Look at that. Well, we're hoping that Sir Mark, Sir Mark will be able to do something like this in the Philippines, hopefully. 
in the near future at uh, Guangming Institute. Yeah, this one is pretty legit and will make ours pretty and legit. <laughs> wow, it's really nice actually. Very impressive. Very impressive. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed. I, I think um, my students would be able to relate because we also have a studio at our school. Okay. So it, it looks something like this, but this one is like really com almost complete with all of the, you know, with the stuff up there. Look at that. It's amazing because you can't see this in any living room, but it works well. It looks, it looks, yeah, it definitely looks really good on TV. Yeah, well, they're, they're very busy making their selfies. They're the selfie group over there. Okay, I'm shining, shimmering, splendid now. Go, go, go! Guys, say hi. Hello. Say hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. These are our folks from Navotas, right? Yes. Yes, so we're at the beach of the city. Hello. 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 So, just try to imagine this kind of classroom is really, really beautiful. Look at that. Very high tech. The screen's going up, going down. They could um, fold the walls, take out the walls, and you know, make a bigger room. So, it's really, really wonderful how they've. Um, Managed to make um, such such a uh, you know a beautiful way of minimizing space. I'm oh, sorry, maximizing space. I have a very intel intelligent way of maximizing the space. Um, it looks small, but it's it's actually very big. So as you can see, all everything here can be retracted. Okay, so we're we're outside again of. Uh, that's Taipei VR over there at my back. This is downtown Taipei. Very, very beautiful place. And uh, I was hoping to have more time to uh, be able to go around, but we don't have enough time. But we're, we're just very happy that we're able to visit Taipei VR. There you go, 14 floors of beautiful, beautiful Buddhist heritage. There's everyone. Thank you very much, everyone. There they are. Okay, guys. Uh, we arrived here in Jiaoxi. Jiaoxi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly, but it's Jiaoxi. It's supposed to be a public park here in uh, Taiwan. Uh, we're in the provincial, this is a provincial area already, I, I believe, um, or in uh, another city. But it looks like the provincial area. You can see the mountain um, just at the back. I don't know if you can see that. There's a mountain over there. They basically would have this spring here, but for now there's no water yet. Um, we don't know why, but this is supposed to be a, a hot spring. And so this is like a public um, place that they they would um, spend their time in. And uh, so it's basically a public park. Guys, we are here at the Kowangsha University. Um, hot springs and what they did is they modernized the hot springs in order for people to be able to visit um, for lunch training university. So it's a members only club um, uh, so to speak and uh, what's going to happen is that they modernize the entire spa system. Uh, this is like the, the old ancient spa system of China. And so anyway, you've got this, this area here which is basically um, uh, made of uh, granite and um, they've got hot water from the spring itself. Um, remember just a while ago we were downstairs and there was a natural spring. And the difference is that the spring doesn't come from sulfur. Um, it, it's, it comes from natural occurring charcoal. So this is um, the type of water which is very different from um, the chemical of sulfur. This is more charcoal based. Um, and uh, we get to the how hot we want it by putting cold water on the side. So they've got two sources of water. One is the natural hot water over there, and then the other one here on the other side, uh, that's the cold water. So you can mix and match that according to how hot you want it to be. So that, how hot it's going to be is, uh, is also going to be very important for you who, um, who want to enjoy and be able to use this. So anyway, let, let, let's try it out. Um, and, and let's see. Okay, so we're done with the uh, sauna and uh, we're not having tea. 
at, at the lobby area. Uh, it's like a tea house. This is like the uh, Fo Guangsheng University Tea House, and uh, it's not really where a lot of the functions happen that they do normally, like the temple would have. But um, this is like a, a very good place to relax, and I think the grandmaster was actually very, very wise in choosing this place. My feet was sore because of uh, walking around Taiwan for most of the day, and also um, traveling from Manila. Woke up at two o'clock in the morning, so I think I was really tired, but and my feet was really sore, and I, I just felt that this was like a really good um, break from everything. My feet is feeling a lot, a lot, a lot, lot better. The good thing about this is we get a lot of free snacks everywhere we go. There's always food in every place that we go to. It's like a tradition of the uh, the monks. Um, I'm part of humanistic Buddhism to take care of people, or um, I remember in one of the, the trainings that I went to in Echo Village, uh, Raja Echo Village in Laguna, I remember that. One of the, uh, the, the very important part of a congregation, any spiritual or religious congregation, is like, taking care of the members or taking care of what we, what we would call devotee care. So I think this is a very essential part of, of the practice that they're doing is they really, um, they, they really take care of everyone. So wherever you go, you got this, this uh, bunch of snacks. Everywhere you go to, you've got tea. Um, they just served some tea to us. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go, that's a tea. So um, I, this is like my third cup of tea for today and it's really, really nice. I'm not sure what kind of tea it is, but it's definitely not the, the ordinary kind of tea, like tea leaves of India. It, it's very different. It smells very herbal, uh, very aromatic, very fruity, unlike the type of tea that you would get, um, uh, like the Darjeeling tea and stuff like that. And the good thing is that they're vegetarian, so I don't have to think twice about the kind of food um, that I have because they also tell me like if there's egg and stuff like that. So this one's okay. I, I checked the ingredients uh, and it's fine. So each room um, has like two people assigned and we'll split it, we'll split the time. That's why you saw that. It took some time to actually put the water together and get the right temperature. I'm not quite sure if this was part of Venerable G's for the day because she promises there'll be a lot of surprises within the day. So I'm not quite sure if this is part of that, but the, uh, the, the ancient sauna kind of stuff really worked for me. It really took away a lot of pain from my body and a lot of stress. Okay guys, we're at Guang, uh, Fu Guangsha University and guess what, we're already in our, uh, I think this is the first building. They said this is like at the gate area of Fu Guangsha University. I'm gonna be showing you something really, really wonderful later on. But for now, I just wanna show you, there's my roommate, Sir Mark over there. Hi, welcome. And look how beautiful our hotel is. This is part of the university. They call it the Millennial Building. Millennial yeah. Building. Yeah, I think they're, they're, they're backing on the Millennials. Um, for their support. Anyway, the place is really, really nice. Very dainty, um, very, it's complete. It's got everything. <laughs> Just like uh, the regular hotels that you would get and you've got the AC over there. They've got a very big, I think this is 36 or 40. This would be like the perfect place to stay. But. <laughs> As I understand, we're just gonna be staying here for like one night and then tomorrow we'll be transferring to a different place to stay at. But I love the fluffy covers. It's really cool, as you can see. And outside there, that's that's what I'm gonna be showing you a little bit later, okay? So I'm just excited about the room. The rooms are really nice, very dainty, very clean, very professional. Really looks like um, the hotels that we would have in Cebu. And so, uh, I mean, this is, you know, considering that this is a university, so it's really very beautiful. Okay, so I'll get back to you with my surprise.